Hey up viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stretches and welcome back to Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. This is episode 3 now. So, remember in the last couple of episodes we've been sort of uh, getting ourselves introduced to various characters, getting the setup kind of going. Obviously we've got so many more characters though to um, actually get through and actually meet. And that's the thing, because obviously in the previous game all the characters... When you were introduced to them, they were all just in one room, so you could blitz through all of them in one go, but not this time, no. The characters are actually kind of spread out through a lot of different areas, so it's actually taking longer to get through them all. But, of course, we're just going to continue on, we're going to work our way through. Obviously, I've been trying to give voices to these various characters, distinctive voices. I've already got some, which I'm kind of happy with so far. So, obviously, you know, for Byakuya, who's now completely overweight, it seems, we're just obviously sticking with the same voice from the last game. Uh, obviously for Hajime, we've now got the pirate voice, Nagito there. The old boy there, you've got the West Country accent. And of course, um, we have this girl over here who we've yet to talk to. Um, who I think I gave a Scouse accent when she was talking in the first episode. So I'm kind of happy with Scouse accent, we'll stick with that for her. Obviously other accents which I can remember, which I think will probably be okay. There's that um, little guy in the suit, you remember him? He's not really appeared much, and we haven't really talked to him much, but when he did talk, I gave him that sort of 1920s Italian-American gangster voice, because, I don't know, I felt like he kind of looked like looked like a 1920s gangster. So, um, obviously, I don't know his, what his talent is yet. That's the thing. A few, of these, uh, a few of these characters, I still don't know what their talents are. Obviously, um, we know that Nagito here is the friggin' ultimate lucky student, which is interesting, because that's what Makoto was in the previous game. And of course, Nagito's voice seems to be very eerily similar to Makoto's. So, you never know. There could be a reason for that. So, um, yeah. He's obviously he's the look, ultimate lucky student. Hajime, we're not sure about. Hajime's the mystery character. We don't know what his talent is. So, that's going to be interesting. Obviously, that's going to be revealed at some point in the game. Uh, obviously, the girl over there, Mikan Sumiki, she's the nurse which is interesting. I don't think uh, me and Phil guessed that correctly. So yeah, it kind of makes sense actually when you look at what she's wearing, obviously with the bandages as well. Um, obviously for her, we gave her the kind of monstrous voice because she was quite timid. But the problem with that voice is it's going to kill my throat quite rapidly. So I may change her voice. Uh, I have a, I've actually made a list of potential voices I could give them. And I've got some very interesting ones. So we'll see. When we talk to her again in future, we'll, uh, we'll potentially give her a new voice. But obviously we've got a Scouse girl over there, her voice has decided. Meanwhile, uh, let's actually have a look around this, um, well, this thing, the Rocket Punch Market, I think it's called. Because there's a few things here we can actually look at. Wow, there's a lot of stuff actually we can look at. Night Vision Goggles. What the hell? Arr, so these are military goods, huh? They even carry Night Vision Goggles. I can't believe this supermarket even sells stuff like this, arr. We good though for prowling your way around the depths of the ship, the Orlock Deck. Okay, surfboards. Arr, it's a surfboard. I am prime pirate gear. That being said, I'm not in the mood for water sports. Okay, <laughs> monitor. Just as I thought, a blank screen. Arr, doesn't look like a normal television. Seriously, what the heck is that? Okay. I'm wondering also if I can get mono coins anywhere. Now there's this thing, the vending machine, mono more. What's the deal with this bad boy? Arr, looks like a vending machine, but doesn't seem to accept money or doubloons. Do I have to use some type of coin? Like a silver piece of eight, maybe, Arr. Okay, maybe it'll introduce me to that later on, when the free time events are actually unlocked. That could be a thing. Arr, even if we're being monitored for our own safety, we're still being watched all the same. It's not really a good feeling, Arr. Okay. God, look at these giant bottles of cola here. What's the deal with these? Arr, that's one big cola bottle. I prefer rum myself. Oh, Grok, I better go flat before he can even finish drinking it. Arr. Um, right, anything else on that side? Or is it just the girl that it wants to talk to? Okay, so, let's talk to this girl. Peeking! Peeking! Okay, now, me and Phil, when we first encountered this girl, we our guest was Punk Rocker. Ultimate Punk Rocker. Because she kind of looks like it. With, you know, all the sort of ear... Well, ear piercings. Piercings around the mouth. And generally what she's wearing. So, that's going to be our guess, everybody. Ultimate Punk Rocker. Hello! Right, uh, Scouse accent. Oh, hi! Who are you? Arum, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello! 
Your tension's super low. Are you feeling all right? Oh! That's right, introductions are a go-go. E, boogie, mio, da. Put it together and what do you get? Ibuki Mioda! Well, nice to meet you, Ibuki Mioda. You're quite energetic, it seems. What are you? Ultimate musician! Okay! Interesting! Yes! So, me and Phil, we were not far off. We were in the right kind of ballpark. So, maybe not punk rocker specifically, but musician. Okay. Alright, introductions are finished, pet. Chuck, more importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. I see, I see. They got hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst pasta, oh, melons! No problemo! Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from you, Barry, would shop here! What's going on with your nose, all of a sudden? Just noticed that. Jesus. She developed a Pinocchio nose. I'm a real boy! <laughs> that sort of voice. No, I'm not giving her a Pinocchio voice. I'm sticking with the Scouse accent. Yahoo! I should maybe make a note of that. That could be a future voice, Pinocchio. Who knows? <laughs> Man, I'm getting hella stoked. I'm 31 flavours of stoke for all of this deliciousness. <laughs> and when I'm excited, I get hungry mungry. Jeez. I don't understand this myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? Well, <laughs> a human body sure is a mystery. <laughs> okay, uh, West Country accent. It's energetic. No, that's not it. I've got, I've got to do the, I've got to do the line to get me in the, in the, in the zone for this one. Get my combine harvester. Only some energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an all-girl band. It was super popular with other high school girls. Do you know Sayaka my zone? No, by any chance. Apparently, their hit single, After School Poyoyon Hour, sold over a million copies. Arr, a super popular all-girl high school band. That sounds familiar. <laughs> mm, yes, it does. Certainly to me, at least. What? But due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Our creative differences. Oh my my! Are you interested, Chuck? Oh, you can hear me, Arr. <laughs> Ibuki's a musician after all. Guitar! Like Schubert, Bach, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez and Senna. I too am an awesome musician. Some of them are not musicians though. I'm pretty sure Edison was an inventor and Van Gogh was a friggin' artist. Perez and Senna I'm not so sure about. Arr, oh, so you're saying you have good hearing, Arr. Wait, most of those people you mentioned weren't musicians at all, you bitch. <laughs> Don't sweat the details, Chuck. Okay, I got a hope fragment. Well, that's her complete. She's certainly energetic and a bit of an airhead. So she's a little bit of owie, basically. That's the thing, I'm still wondering what's all these characters' relation to the characters of the last game, if any. Obviously, they're Hope's Peak students, there's that connection, but is there anything more than that? Okay, I think that's everything in this uh, building. So, of course, um, like I say, various characters are actually spread out around. This, uh, these, uh, these various areas. So we're going to try and get through as many as we can this episode. Obviously there are quite a few in the hotel area. So um, we'll save the hotel for last. Over here though we've got an airport. Run Hajime, run. Pirate boy. Right, I can go to the airport then. Let's do the airport. Who's near? I think I might just stir uh, quickly. Whilst I'm waiting for that to load in. Grab myself a pen. So I can actually note down whose voices are what. So I'm not friggin', you know, losing track of who's who. Okay, Arr, this is an airport, right? So those things over there must be... Airplanes, Arr! I prefer ships, myself! Arr, can we use those planes to escape this air island? Uh. Oh, okay, you. You were, um... You were the Australian, weren't you? Okay, good eye, mates. Now it's impossible, you wallaby. If they were damaged, I could fix them, but it looks like these planes are just for show. The friggin' kangaroos. Arr, just for show! Man... Arr, uh, <laughs> wrong voice. <laughs> Problem with the Australian accent is I have to predicate everything with good day. Those of you who watched my Panzer models play through with Phil, you'll remember that. We had an Australian voice in that one, and it was the same there. We had to constantly predicate it with good day in order to get the voice right. Good day, mates. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Arr, completely removed. 
Her, whoever brought us this island must also have done that, right? The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal is army. But, who's doing this, Arr? That's the thing, where is Monokuma? Monokuma has yet to show up. Arr, and why did they bring us this island in the first place? And how did they do it, the swabs? The more I think about it, the less sense it makes, Arr. That's right! G'day, mates. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right, you wallaby? Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet ya. Surprise, surprise. Me and Phil, I think, guessed that, didn't we? Ultimate mechanic or ultimate engineer, something like that. Oh, I've gone up to level three, I just noticed. Okay, I'm the ultimate... You're the ultimate mechanic, then. So, that was a pretty obvious one. I'm going to make a note of your name by Australian. Kazuichi Soda. And Scouser's <laughs> name was Ibuki Mioda. Okay, there we go. I'm just making notes of everyone's names, because I have a Word document open where I've made a note of all the voices so I don't lose track of them. Uh, Nagito, West Country. As expected from someone called the Ultimate Mechanic, Kazuichi's a savon when it comes to fixing machines. He can fix my combine harvester. If he says it's been possible to fix this airplane, it's truly beyond repair. Hey. Good I might see even so to actually remove the engine. Whoever's keeping him here, keeping us here must have planned this to a T, eh? How do you think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you, huh? That was close. Good eye, mates. Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know. Huh? I mean... Good eye. Well, I think about it. Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. <laughs> Don't speak too soon. Uh... I was mentioned in the safety precautions for the school trip, eh? Remember the school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook? Yes, indeed. Electronic student handbook. Extreme violence is prohibited on the island. Please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. I can't remember what was this army's voice. I've completely forgotten that as well. Be considerate of each other. Yep. Yeah. Littering not allowed. We've seen these. Yep. Yeah. Lead teacher cannot directly interfere. Blah, blah, blah. I like the nice animation for, for the uh, e-handbook. G'day, mates. It looks like we're being kept safe, so why don't... So why wouldn't this be like any other school trip, eh? Hmm. There is nothing dangerous on this here island. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope, eh? Just as Usami said earlier. It seems these here rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe what that thing told us? Are you chief forces to come here, you know, ye landlubber? What? Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know. Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. That's right. Good eye, mates. Well, I guess it's in... in oh, bleh. God, I need, I need to just read the text before I try saying it. Good eye, mates. Well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> if you stare closely at that strange-looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. I was tending a bit towards the West Country then, that was. Arr, I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now, they bastard. <laughs> Hajime is a little bit nasty. Well, what about this guy over here? Who is this guy? Welcome to paradise, it says up there. Oh, God. I can look at the airplanes, apparently. We'll look at things in the background in due course. Oh. Uh, what? I beg your pardon? What did you just say? That sounded a bit hostile, that did. Um, what's the closest voice I can get to that? I mean, he's more kind of evil voice, actually. The evil voice which originally gave me calm. Stop right there. If you value your life, do not come any closer. Maybe that kind of voice? Nah. I don't know. I kind of want to give you a voice that I have listed here on a piece of paper. I've seen, I've got loads of them. I've got Elvis Presley. I could do Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bruce Forsyth, a Scottish, Welsh, Dutch, Mexican bandit Tuco from The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, an exaggerated version of Lost Paws, Croaky Chainsmoker. If I wanted to be really pushing the boundaries of political correctness, I could even do a Jamaican accent if I wanted. What about a Scottish accent? Okay, the no. Stop right there, laddie. If you value your life, do not come any closer. Huh? Fine. Okay, oh, humph, I said stay back. Well, very well, I shall accept that courage of yours. Arr, what's this guy talking about? <laughs> Would you like to know my name, laddie? Others may say your courage is recklessness. However, I welcome it, you wee bastard. Listen well. In honour of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. Okay. 
Gundam Tanaka. Jeez, I'm just going to write your name down next to my Scottish uh, entry. Gundam Tanaka, you're officially going to have a Scottish voice. Hope you like it. What's your talent, bud? Your what? Ultimate breeder? I sure hope as hell that you mean breeding animals. I rule this world! He's kidding, right? If he's actually serious, that's pretty out there. Let me ask. Oh, hi! Now then, it's my turn to ask question. That's the wrong voice. Who's master? Are ye? Are ye? Arr! You! Oh, hi! Which tribe did you make your pact with? Answer me! Huh? What do you mean, pact, Arr? Burn in the fires of pandemonium! Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> Calm the hell down! <laughs> What's with you? Flipping heck. Bloody hell. Okay, I'm thinking uh, the Scottish one's actually hard to get. It's actually already slipping out of my mind a little bit. Answer me now, you bastard! I shall cast you into the watery grave once you do, you wee git. That's getting too close to the Scouse accent again. Oh, then it's best if I don't answer. Perhaps... I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. Our pet? No, the only animal I've taken care of was a hermit crab we passed around in elementary school. Also, when I was a pirate, I had a parrot. Impossible! Oh, hi, so I'm here, insect. Face your powerlessness! Ha, your magic essence caps out at a lowly five, laddie. Trash! Our trash, really. Meal. <laughs> no, that's getting towards Hachime's voice. Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak to one as grand as me, you wee fucker. My name is Gundam Tanaka. Who do you think I am? I'm the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, supreme overlord of ice, you wee git. Ah, oh, hold on a minute. Something strange just came out of your scarf. Yeah, what is... Hey, hamsters. What are those? This is the Tanaka Empire! Oh, I tame an evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret art of the Tanaka Empire. <laughs> it's like something you'd see on a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill of Ultimate Breeder. So he breeds animals, <laughs> basically. <laughs> oh, hi, one of my far da dark davers of destruction, Mirage Golden Hook Jumpy, has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You won't like us when we're angry, you wee bastard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, Imperious Overlord of the Evil Tanaka Empire. That's very nice. <laughs> Can't look at him. <laughs> um, West Country voice, please. Um, come to me, please. Come by Norvister. Oh, um, yeah, I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. I've heard he can tame any animal, and even managed to succeed at proliferating an endangered species. Rumour has it he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Thank you for being here, Nagito, to help me through with these weirdos. Arr, speak with animals? Well, he's certainly eccentric enough in that regard. Arr, the swab. I mean, there's no way a normal person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf, arr. Then again, when I was a pirate, I tried to raise a parrot on my own shoulder, and my captain's great coat. Nice, okay. Let's have a look around. Monitor, it's probably just the same dialogue. Arr, just as I thought, a blank screen. Doesn't look like a normal television. Sure, seriously, what the heck is that? Okay, can I look at anything here? <laughs> There's nothing in that environment. Planes? Arr, to go so far as to completely remove the plane's engine. Do they want to keep us here that badly? For what purpose? But planes ain't no ships anyway. Hmm. Security cam? Oh wow, just saw the freaking conveyor belt. Arr, even if we're being monitored for our own safety, we're still being watched. Yeah, same old. Can I look at the conveyor, please? Baggage claim. Yeah. I can't look at anything else, apparently. Nope, there's nothing else. Okay, well, that's everything in here, then. So, I met Kazuichi, the mechanic, Gundam, the breeder, Ibuki, the musician, Mikan, obviously, the nurse in the previous episode. That's just going up there. The hotel, I think, is back this way, isn't it? Let's have a look at the map. That's the map, yeah. That's the airport, Rocket Punch Market, bridge... Uh, that's the ranch where we saw the traditional dancer girl and the gymnast girl whose voices I may change depending on how they go. Hotel site. Well, obviously that's where we need to go to then. Might as well walk. Oh, how's my pet doing actually? Hello? Oh god, you've got a few stinkies there. Friggin' hell, you be me. Come on, get total slip taken 400 until next growth 701. Okay, do I get presents? 
No, I haven't got any presents for you. Sorry, bunny. No presents for you, yeah? Okay, so. Scottish accent for Gundam. That's what we're going with. Like I said, I've got a massive list of them beside me. So it's going to be interesting. I should probably just fast travel to the friggin' hotel. Actually, no, it's right here. Hotel. Uh, let's go, please. Nice. There's a lot of stuff this time round. Ooh, wow. Hotel Mirai. Oh, well, this is a pretty nice hotel. Beats the desert islands I've been stranded on. Perhaps? The Hotel Mirai, eh? It looks like it's named for the Japanese word for future. When we were told to live on this here island, I was worried we'd have to pitch a tent or something. I'm glad. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. Our comfort is an option here. We don't even know why we're being forced to live on this island, you swab. How can you just accept this hour? You're way too excited about living here. Hey. Well, it seems obvious that this here area would make a good base, so why don't we look around for a bit? Dot dot dot. Arr, why is this guy so calm? It's like he doesn't think this situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? Has he been hit in the head by a cannonball? <laughs> I like having my own lines <laughs> to, uh, you know, stay up to, stay up to, uh, in order to really get into these character voices. <laughs> Pirate Hajime and all that. A map will be displayed if you press the tab key. I said the tab key. Don't make me repeat myself. Jeez, oh, okay, narrator. Give me some sass, are ya? Oh, okay, oh, right. Hotel, okay, so this is the bedrooms. So in the last game, we had, of course, the dormitory. Okay, interesting. So all guys on one side, girls on the other, apparently. Right, and that's how we get out. Nice, oh, God, listen to my footsteps on the floor. Nagito, you got anything to say for yourself? God, like the characters in the last one, you're very tall. I'm glad. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. But it seems obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same old dialogue. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I imagine I can't... Ex I probably can't explore... Oh, wait a minute. One of them's flashing for some reason. Is that mine? Looks like it. Oh, this cottage seems like a makeshift hotel guest room. Can I go in, please? Can I look at the mailbox? Okay, maybe not then. Arr, well it certainly beats the captain's cabin, eh? Okay, ooh. Oh, I leveled up. Nice. Check my pet, maybe? How's my pet getting on? Oh, steps... No. Nothing new there. Never mind. Okay, dude, what's with you? Hmm, he has a deep voice. Uh, what voice should I give you? In fact, actually, I've got a good voice for you. I mean, I think me and Phil probably gave you one originally, but I've forgotten what it was. I've got an interesting voice potentially listed here. What about Arnold Schwarzenegger? I mean, you're a big kind of muscly guy. You know, Gatuda Charpa and all that. You know, you are terminated. Hasta la vista, baby. That's right. You haven't told me your name. Oh. My name? I am the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai. Team manager, okay. That's an interesting one. Ultimate team manager. As in, do you manage sports teams? Is that what's going on here? Arr, hello, I'm Majime Hinata. Your voice is too soft. Hold it right there. Your voice is too soft. Let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. <laughs> That's a good voice. I'm, okay, I'm going with Arnold Schwarzenegger for... What was his name? Nekomaru? Nekomaru Nidai, was it? Yeah, that's right. Nikomaru Nidai. There we go. Yep, Arnold Schwarzenegger definitely fits you. Arr, I'm Ajime Hinata. That's Captain Ajime to you. No, you can be louder than that. Do it again. Arr, my name is Captain Ajime Hinata. Please to make your acquaintance, you swab. I am Nekomaru Nidai. Don't forget it, even if you'll go to hell. Jesus. I'm the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai. Arr, you don't need to repeat your name so much, you swab. I won't forget it. <laughs> Agree to your terms. Arr, he sure is boisterous. It's not just his voice, his whole body seems loud. Arr. Yep. Nekomaru Ni no Nidai, Nidai is known as the ultimate team manager. Arr, the ultimate team manager? So he's not on a team, he just manages one? No. Nope. He's not just a team manager, after all, he's an ultimate. He's travelled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs, managing their teams. For instance, he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. 
He also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led them to national victory as well. Rumour has it he's even training that famous Japanese pitcher who plays in the American League. I don't know who that is. <laughs> is that a reference to some real life figure? Or if that's all true, he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager, but... <laughs> But with a build like his, he'd be better off playing on a team instead of managing it. He'd be better off in the crew. You'd make a good anchor puller, puller person. Okay. Oh, I see you across there. Another person. Gangster boy. Right, so we've had the team manager, Nekomaru Nidai, who will give him the Arnold Schwarzenegger voice. That kind of really fits him, actually. I like it. It's a good one to come up with. Okay, someone else in the background as well. What's your deal, bud? You look a bit nasty. Right, um, 1920s Italian-American gangster voice. Um, let me get in the zone here. Hey, Louis, who the hell are you? Don't talk all friendly and shit to me, dumbass. Wow, you're you're nice. Oh, this guy's already in a crappy mood. Are you? What are you looking at, you bastard? You got something you want to say, bastard? Now, now. Relax, for your Hiko. We're only here to introduce ourselves. Huh? Introduce yourselves. Hey. See, you haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? Okay. My name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. Well, screw you too, buddy. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make a note of your name next to where I've written uh, gangster. So, Fuyu Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. 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 <laughs> That's a tough one to say, actually. Okay, so what's your talent, bud? Ultimate Yakuza! Whoa! Okay! That's an out there one! Wow! So... The 1920s Italian-American gangster voice is not entirely... friggin' unfitting here. So this guy... Wow! Okay, so... In Trigger Happy Havoc, we had Mondo Awada, who was the biker. The kind of, you know, delinquent. But now we've got a full-on friggin' criminal. That's an amazing talent, bud. Or even though he's got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. Um... Fuyuhiko is a high school student and heir to the Kuzuryu clan. Eh, the Kuzu Kuzuryu clan? Don't tell me he's... Yep. I'm sure you've at least heard of him before, right? The Kuzuryu clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with a membership surpassing 30,000. How admirable. Which means he's the ultimate Yakuza. I was not expecting Yakuza, I'll be honest. But it kind of fits his appearance, I suppose. Having said that, I didn't see any tattoos. Oh, the heir to a Yakuza clan. And it's it is and, it, and it's the Yakuza Ryu clan, no less. Actually. It puts my pirate crew to shame. By the way, it's I mentioning his baby face around him is expressly forbidden, so you better be careful. You'll run out of fingers before he's done with ya. Oh, that was close. I nearly lost all my fingers. Arr, Negito, you're like my saviour or something. You can be my quartermaster. <laughs> you're just exaggerating, no, guess not. Hey, bastard. If we're all done here, how about you dumbasses make like a tree and fuck off? That 1920s voice, I have to get into the zone for it. You know, I have to predicate voice. <laughs> you know what? You know what I'm thinking here? So, you know how with Kazuichi's Australian voice, I have to predicate every sentence with G'day, mates? I think for this one, I have to predicate it with a hey, Louis, somewhere like that, you know, that, that stereotypical gangster line from The Simpsons. Hey Louis, if we're all done here, how about you dumbasses make like a tree and fuck off? Wow. What a nice guy, everybody. Now, what about this girl over here? Right, okay, right. You've got a camera. Me and Phil were guessing photographer. Staking my money on it. Oh, wait, what's this? Hotel's old building. Hold on a minute, girl. Excuse me. Oh god, it's you. Um, what was your voice? What was the voice that I gave you? I can't even fucking remember. Um, or maybe I should just give you a new voice now. You know what? Hmm. You know what voice I'm going to give you? I might give you a Welsh accent. You know, down in the valleys. And no, no, no. This whole building is in the middle of a reno... No, that's not... Actually, no, I'm not going to do Welsh accent. Welsh accent's actually kind of hard. What about... How about... A... Um, what about a Bruce Forsyth accent? Hmm. You know, Brucey bonus. 
No, 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 this old building is in the middle of a renovation project, so you cannot go inside. A Brucey bonus lies inside. Nice to see you, to see you, nice. It's dangerous, you know. Oh, showing up out of nowhere is even more dangerous. Okay, so we can't go in there. Okay, I'm going to tentatively give Usami the Bruce Forsyth voice, you know. For any, uh, you know, non-UK viewers who don't know who Bruce Forsyth was, he was an English television presenter. But he had a very distinct style. He's very old. He was very old, to say. He's dead now, obviously. He died not too long ago, actually. But, um, yeah. He had some very interesting catchphrases. Like, for example, he would introduce his shows with, uh, It's nice to see you, to see you, nice! Like that. And he would talk like that, you know. And on some of his shows, he would always talk about his Brucey bonus. Which was, you know... Because he, he used to host quiz shows, things like that. Don't don't read too much into that. <laughs> He's basically talking about a bonus prize or something on his quiz shows. Okay, let's, enough hey. enough stalling. Right, uh, what can we give a voice for you, photographer girl? Um, you know, I've got I've got a possible accent. I could give you um, a Dutch accent. Would you like a Dutch accent, girl? Screw it, we're giving you a Dutch accent. So basically, the Dutch accent is basically um, all S's are going to be pronounced S-H. Hey, aren't you the guy who was squatting on your bench earlier and burying your face in your arms? <laughs> it's kind of like Gold Member, isn't it? Out of Austin Powers. You remember him? Defarge, <laughs> that guy? Oh, yeah. Hi. You are a boy, right? Hey, you've got to keep it together, you know. Together. To get Farja, yeah. We need to pronounce the T-H's as, as J's. You gotta keep it together, you know? At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girls safe. Arr, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. Let's see. I'm Mahiro oh. Koizumi. I'll be counting on you from now on. Mahiro Koizumi. I'm gonna na note, note your voice down. Mahiro Koizumi. Mahiro Koizumi. It helps to repeat them so you can get the pronunciation right in your head. Okay. You are the ultimate photographer. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, that's, that's not surprising. Actually, Mahiru is known as the ultimate photographer. She has a promising future as a photojournalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young photographer who's won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. Or the ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there is a camera hanging from her neck. I kind of assumed that already. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Arr, decent? <laughs> Jeez, what was that laugh? Well, there's a lot of weirdos here. That's not the right voice. Well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if you're really ultimate or like just in Shane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off this island. But I was worried things wouldn't go well. Arr, get off this island. What do you mean? Huh? You don't know. That was the wrong voice. You don't know. That's what that stuffed animal that Ushami was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with whichever one, Come on. this joke of a school trip will be over and we can all leave this island together. Arr, that's all we have to do when we can go home. Is that true? Did you really mean that arr? Don't lie to me, you swab. Hey, you should be paying closer attention. This is, like, really important. Hey. Well, Hajime, now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island soon enough. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. Or even so. What's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I'd rather be on my ship raiding the Caribbean. I mean, to go through all the effort of bringing us here so we can all live together and get along. Arr. It doesn't make any sense. What? I may not know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that's all there is to it. I'm glad. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Oh, not a big deal. Really, ye swab? We're told we're on a school trip without any warning, then we're taken to a place like this, are. And then we're told to forget about Oaks Peak Academy. Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey! Eh? You... Don't air me. What about your introduction? I've been waiting like forever, you know. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm Ajimei Inata, captain to you. Oh, uh, it's nice to meet you too, are. Oh, she had you making utter, huh? Too bad. Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note to remember you as unreliable Hajime. Well, fuck you too. You better do your best. You bossy person. It's going to be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. 
I'm not sure if that's a Dutch accent or a freaking Sean Connery voice. <laughs> we'll make it Dutch slash Sean Connery. I see you're whipped already, Archie May. I'm talking to both of you. You better man up and do better, got it? Okay, Mahiru. Whatever you say. There's a monitor there. This will be the same dialogue, won't it? Yep. No point looking at that, then. Hotel restaurant. Upstairs. Oh, can we... Ooh. We go to the restaurant, or we could go into the lobby. Let's go into the restaurant first, then. Camera will probably just have the same dialogue. No doubt. Let's try and get all the characters done this episode. Who's in here, then? Oh. Uh, chef guy's in there. Arr, so this is the hotel restaurant. Certainly beeps the ship's galley. Amazing! It's enormous. We could easily hold the banquet here. It kind of has this tropical open country feeling. Our open, even though we're stuck on this island. Hmm. Are we really stuck here? Arr, what else could it be? Sorry. Oh well, let's finish introducing ourselves first. Look, there are two people talking over there. Oh! Oh, I just saw a girl. Uh, I just saw waifu potential number one. Uh, oh, it's this guy. Um, uh, what was this guy's accent that we gave him? French, wasn't it? Because he looks like a chef. He's definitely Ultimate Chef or something like that, isn't he? Uh, that's right, I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. Speaking of which, it'd be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. Beg your pardon? Um... Yes. What? Um... Eh? What's going on here? I need a voice for you. I can't remember what voice I gave you. In fact, I can't even remember what... What was the talent me and Phil that Phil guessed for you? Was it Ultimate Assessor or something like that? <laughs> something completely random. Well, having said that, we've had an Ultimate Yakuza. So, anything's possible, I guess. What voice shall I give you? So we've got French for the, um, for the chef guy, but... Uh, I don't... Mm, I don't know what voice to give you. I mean, I've got a few left on my list here. Welsh, Elvis Presley, Tuco from The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, Exaggerated Lost Paws, go for a croaky chain smoker, Jamaican. Um, what about, maybe we could go for an Elvis Presley voice. Hmm, that's interesting. Should we give her an Elvis Presley voice? <laughs> ah. Oh, we could do that. Should we do it, you know? Let's uh, paraphrase a few uh, Elvis Presley lines here, just to give you a feel of this voice that I've got in mind here. You know, come on, I'm tired of talking, pretty woman, buzzing, I see. All right, do you guys have a moment? Huh? Ugh, denied. Are denied? Oh, <laughs> was this guy putting some moves on? Good day. Hmm. Maybe the Elvis. Um... Hello, it's nice to meet you. Actually, no, the Elvis Presley voice doesn't really work. Uh, you see, I've got... When I say Elvis Presley voice, I'm more thinking Father Braben out of Shadow of Israfel. That's more what I'm thinking of. <laughs> you know. Okay, actually, let's... Mm, should we try a different voice? What about Tuco from The Good Man and the Ugly? You know, you know Tuco, you know what I'm talking about. There are two types of people in the world, my friend. Those are going through the doors, and those are going through the windows. Hello, it is nice to meet you. No, that's, that's a bit Russian, that. Um, what other voices could I give you, though? Exaggerated lost pause, you know, what's cracking guys, and welcome to another video. Maybe? Oh, what's cracking fam, it's nice to meet ya. No, it doesn't work. It's not the right voice. Um, bloody hell, this is really hard. I'm trying to think up voices for each and every single one of them. <sighs> you mean, you have, you have the very generic female voice. So... Maybe that's what we'll give you? I don't know. Okay, fuck it. For you, for the time being, I'm going to give you the generic female voice. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Ah, oh, hello. My name is Captain Ajime Yanata. Nice to meet you, too. Hello there. Uh, bonjour. You must be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. Okay, cook. So, me and Phil were pretty much spot on. I mean, we said chef, but, you know, it's the same kind of thing, pretty much. But could you guys call me the ultimate chef instead? It has more of a big city flavor to it, you know? We can do if you want, matey. Teru Teru Hanamura. Okay. I'm just going to note your name down next to uh, Hanamura. I hope we get along well. We? I am sorry. 
Ah, oh, reminds me, I've not properly introduced myself either. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting. So who are My you? My name is Sonia Nevermind. Oh yeah, we saw your voice. That uh, voice. We saw your name on that weird intro cinematic. Sonia Nevermind. You don't sound very Japanese. Ultimate Princess. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> I'm a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Novoselic. Oh. European, eh? Oh, so we could have given you a European voice. Damn it. Because we had German for Celeste. But we've gone and given the French... Um, the French one to... Friggin' Cookboy over there. Oh, I want to give her a European accent. That's what we could give her. Sorry, if I'm, I'm just adjusting my headset a little bit. Okay, Princess Sonia. What kind of European accent could we give you? I mean, we've already given Russian to someone else as well. Damn it. Um, uh, what can I give you? Maybe... What's a Swedish accent? Sweden. That's an accent. I mean, it would be a bit stereotypical and a bit politically incorrect, but... You know. The Swedish accent, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Novoselic. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along well. I'm from Sweden, yeah. Oh, same here. I hope we get along too. I mean, that Swedish voice is tending a bit dangerously close to Mario, but... Oh, I mean, you know what? Fuck it. We'll make it Swedish Mario. <laughs> her white porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters like fields of wheat. Is she a sea nymph that we pirates talk about? It's like she has this mysterious charm that I want to gaze at forever. <laughs> Are you enchanted? Well, that probably can't be helped. She's known as the Ultimate Princess, which means she's actual royalty. Or the Ultimate Princess. Normally I'd be surprised to hear that, but... It's not just her beauty, she's just so graceful. I'm completely at ease, even though she's a real princess, are. Um... Yeah, this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, what are you talking What are you happy about? I... In my home country, I did not have a single friend my age who was standing in society match my own. So to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me. This is too similar to Mario. Damn it. Because the problem is I gave the Mario voice to Genocide Jack in the last game. Oh, dang it. So maybe the Swedish voice won't work. Or maybe I could just put a bit more emphasis in certain ways on it to try and distinguish it. Hmm. Oh, I am from Sweden. Maybe if I say it like that. So to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me, yeah? I shall praise you. I shall extol your virtues. Ah, oh, extol my virtues? Thanks. What the? I suddenly feel the urge to drop down to one knee and bow. <laughs> okay. Hey, you're three. Am I being left off the menu or something? No, that's... Freaking, I keep going into Italian. What the hell is that? He's not Italian, he's French. Eh, you're three. Am I being left off the menu or something? I don't know, that's not it, you swab. <laughs> Terry Teru, it, no. It's all like you to... No, that's not the West Country voice. Chugging along on my combine, Orvister. Oh, Teru Teru, it's all like you to check out the restaurant first. As the ultimate chef, do you like it? <laughs> I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. And since I do not want to be a liar, and truthfully... Yeah, we, I like it. Well... Yes, so I like the big... St oh, sorry, mate, you're talking. So I like the big city flavour of my own town. A country atmosphere like this is also splendid. We... Oh, uh, are you? Understand. I find a cultured, a guilty as charge because I'm French. And for France, chef, I will whip you up some snails and some frog's legs. Oh, no, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What's there to worry about? Actually, I'm really happy. Oh, Rappy, why is that? Mm -hmm. If I can get serious real quick, I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Pecco is actually a bit of a freak, if you catch my meaning. I don't know who Miss Pecco is. I'm guessing it might be one of the characters we've not encountered yet. Oh, what do you think? Oh, what? Bonjour. Wow, he actually said bonjour. She's probably wearing a black thong, too. Oh, what are your thoughts on that, we? This guy's a little bit perverted. He's even got the nosebleed thing going on. Now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on! Arr, no thanks, you lily-living livin' landlubber. 
Well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem unexpected to you, but I feel like Miss Sonia over there has a good chance of putting out. You see, everybody knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? Understand. For example, I could tell her my loins are full of poison. Hey, ask her to suck it out. Is that what you were doing? You perverted git. Oh, is that why he was talking about poison earlier? Um. Shit, um, Swedish accent. Swedish accent, get in the zone, Red. Come on. What was it again? Um, uh, fuck, it's not coming to me. Um, I really need to give her a better voice. I need to think of a better one. Um, maybe I should just give her an Italian accent. Screw it if it's too similar to freaking Mario. Maybe? Okay. Uh, pardon me, what are you talking about? <laughs> we'll discuss this later, eh? <laughs> I'd better not see you try that again. Mm -hmm. Anyway, when I fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but look forward to living on this island. <laughs> when it comes to cooking, a love, a passion is the most important ingredient. Mm -hmm. Our disguising is dangerous, but for a completely different reason. Oh boy! What a lovely, lovely guy. Well, there we go. We got those two. Is there anything else we can look at? Hotel outside. Um, oh, there's a camera over there. I think it's just the hotel outside that it wants me to look at. Let's have a look then. Seventh Island. Oh, can we go on the balcony? Hotel site? Oh, no, we're just back out here. Oh, okay. It just takes us outside. We can go into the hotel lobby then. Let's have a look. Let's have a look in here. A sip of water whilst I'm at it. Mm. Two more characters. I'm glad. How many characters have we encountered so far? So we got Hajime, Nagito, Byakuya, Ibuki, Fuyuhiko, Kazuichi, Teru Teru. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Um, then obviously Nekamaru, seven. Gundam Tanaka, eight. Mahiru, nine. Okay, and then we just encountered them two up there, 10 and 11. Okay, interesting. And uh, obviously the other two from the Usami Corral Ranch, that's 13. So, yeah, that means that I think this other two would take us up to 15. And that'd be it, right? Have I got that right? Have I counted correctly there? Even the inside of this place looks grand too. Arr, if this was really a normal normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now. But why are we the only ones in this here hotel? Now, now. It's an uninhabited island. It can't be helped. Arr, for an uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept, and it seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the world is going on with this here island? Okay. Well, there's a lot of stuff to look at in here. Okay, you're the girl we gave the Russian voice. State your business. State your business. Oh, well, I just want to introduce myself. Is that all right with you? An introduction. Understood. I don't mind. Oh, I'm Captain Ajime in Arto. Nice to meet you. My name is Peko Pekoyama. It is nice to meet you too. Oh, okay. This is the girl who uh, Chef Guy was talking about rather lewdly just a moment ago. You are the ultimate swordswoman. Okay. Interesting. Actually... They see your dignified looking woman is known as the ultimate swordswoman. It's hard to believe someone with a cute name like Peko Peko Yama could be so skilled with a blade. I've heard she's a kendo master, and that most adult men don't even stand a chance against her. <coughs> Alright, well there's definitely something up with her. Her eyes are really intense. It appears. <coughs> oh god, my voice is starting to go with all these different uh, voices and such. If what that rabbit said is true, we are expected to live together on this here island. Ah, yeah, you're right. It is necessary for men and women to li who live together to respect each other. Don't try anything inappropriate, you western pig. <laughs> I would prefer not to kill anyone. Ah, kill? Isn't that sword on your back made of bamboo? Yes. Although it may seem impossible to kill someone with this, a missing blow can be fatal. Da. Uh... Well, an aimed blow can be fatal too, da. <laughs> it's a good voice for you. Ah, I'll keep that in mind. God, my voice is going. Oh boy. <coughs> oh god. What else can we look at? Apart from the monitor and the camera. Arcade machine. Hello. Oh, this place even has an arcade machine. <laughs> Isn't it great? This place is a short. This sure is a grand hotel. 
Oh, it's like we're in an inn in a hot springs district or something. Okay. Interesting. Stairs up to the restaurant, maybe? Hmm. Talk to you. I'm hoping you're the last character. I've got you pegged as another potential waifu, because I like the look of you. Oh, there's some girl playing an arcade game, and she looks completely absorbed by it, the swab. Hajime. You haven't properly introduced yourself to her either, right? Oh, yeah, you're right, I. She seems really focused on the game, but I guess I should try to talk to her. Excuse me, I'd like to introduce myself. <laughs> She's not paying any attention. Hey! Chiaki! <gasps> okay, a uh, voice for you. Well, let's just have a bit of your dialogue first. Just so we can get a feel for what kind of voice you have. Oh, sorry, I must have been a little too focused on my game. <laughs> a little? Are you sure about that? Um... Let's see, oh right, introduction's got it. I'm Chiaki Nanami, the ultimate gamer. Video games are my hobby, and I'm a fan of all genres. Ultimate gamer? Okay, that's an interesting one. Dot dot dot. Nice to meet you. Hmm, okay. Ultimate gamer. That is indeed a very interesting one. Arr, I'm Captain Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you too. And this here next to me is Mimi Quartermaster Nagito Kamaeda, who sounds a lot like Nagoto. Nagoto? <laughs> Nagoto? <laughs> Who's that? Makoto. Dot 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 dot. Yep. You don't speak much, do you? Totally. Arr, it seems like this conversation is going rather slow. Let me just say that out loud to your face. <laughs> well, she is gaming right now. Well? It's more like... I'm the kind of person who has to gather my thoughts before I can start talking. Like, I can't talk that well unless I'm all, I've already prepared everything I want to say in my head. Especially when I'm meeting new people. Well, if I get used to them, I can usually talk a little faster. Okay, so you're the kind of person who likes to, you know, think before you say, pretty much. You're a bit like me sometimes. I do get that occasionally myself, sometimes with people. I'm the sort of person who, you know, doesn't do small talk very well. I can empathise with you, Chiaki. Oh, she's still focused on her game, and she hasn't looked at me at all. She may be the ultimate gamer, but how can she play video games at a time like this hour? <laughs> okay. Sleepy. Okay, maybe that's a voice we could give you. Sleepy girl voice. I'm sleepy. Yeah, that could work. Sleepy girl. Oh. Ding dong, ding dong. The old familiar sound. Okay, I'm just um, making a note on my sheet of paper of that. Okay, voice we're going to give Chiaki is sleepy girl voice. A ding dong, bing bong. Oh, was that a school bell just now? Huh? Ajime, look at that monitor over there. It's activated. Hey, Sami, here you are. Congratulations, everyone! That, that was interesting. It appears that everyone has finished collecting the hope fragments. I'm... I'm so happy! <laughs> Good for you. So... I've prepared a present for everyone that'll make you all very happy. I apologize for the trouble, but please gather at the beach. <laughs> May Shining Hope be with you all. I'm still wondering when Monokuma's going to show. I know he's in this one. He's in the opening cinematic when you load up the game. It's all going to go to shit at some point. Okay. What to do? She said to meet at the beach. Oh, is that going to be okay? I'm starting to have a bad feeling about this. What? Thinking won't solve anything. We can do that after we go to the beach. Oh, is that precaution really enough? To be honest, I'm really worried. But it would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go R. Us pirates don't fear anything. Okay, well, tell you what. On that bombshell, everybody, we are going to save the game here. And we're going to wrap this episode up. So... We've now officially been introduced to every character. And um, we've got voices for most of them. Some of them I may still change here and there, you know, or practice all the voices, just to try and get them right, tailor them to a good point. But I think for most characters, we've got the right kind of voices. So, yeah. Obviously, in the next episode, we'll be seeing where it goes from here. So, obviously, we're going to be meeting down at the beach, and uh, Lord knows what's going to happen. Still no sign of Monokuma yet. That's the thing. I'm wondering when it's all going to go to shit. Surely it won't be too long. It is probably coming very soon, I would guess. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed that video, everybody. If there's one thing I always enjoy about these kind of visual novel-type games, 
Danganronpa and all the others I've ever played before. It's doing the silly voices. That's what kind of makes it so good. So yeah, if you're not doing so already, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the video description as always. You're going to sign up to those uh, videos to stay up to date. Sign up to those videos. Sign up to those pages even to stay up to date with my videos as of when I upload them. That's what I wanted to say. Also, if you're interested in seeing me react to, slash watch, slash review anime content, go and check out my General Ray Propagandist channel on YouTube. You find a link to it in the video description below, and uh, you can sign up to that if you want to. I don't update it very frequently, but, you know, there's a few interesting things on it, and I'll update it occasionally. So, yeah, thank you, everybody. Hope you'll join me for part four of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. I'm enjoying this so far. It's really interesting, and I've got, obviously, so many outstanding questions, so I'm interested to see where it goes. And in the meantime, this is General Red signing off. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, got him. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Get off the edge. Oh, no, no, go. Get out of here, get out of here, get out, 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 get out. That's that monstrosity finish off. Get over there. See ya. Oh, shit, no, 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 no. Oh, fuck. I did not mean to do that. Oh, please don't tell me I have to kill it again now. Shit. Stop, stop, stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop it. Yeah. Oh lord! No, 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 no! Holy crap! This area is horrible! <laughs> oh my god, I'm being shot to fucking pieces! Ah! Oh my. What the fuck? Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! Whoa! Jesus Christ! Holy shit! Fucking hell! Bloody hell! That did like a million damage! This better not be a. Ah! Shit! No! Oh my fucking god! How many... What?